Okay, so the next board here, um, I got it hooked up. And in the back, he actually wrote inverted controls. So this has to do with controls. So it does post, but I can't scroll. I can press any buttons, it's not working at all. And I tried to swap this out and play with the ribbon cable connector here. There's no corrosion or anything there either. It looks pretty clean. So when the console doesn't work and everything seems to be okay, I've had it in the past where the CPU is usually the culprit. So I'm also gonna take this out, put it into my test bench. Now hopefully, the, it should have the same symptom. It should, um, the CPU, it would, if I pl put this CPU in the other bench, it should also have a, a stuck control. Stuck controls, because I don't, I can't move the controller. It doesn't allow me to test the, anything. Now here's a, a trick, right? If you wait a minute and 20 seconds, it will run the burn and test without pressing the controller. So like for instance, I'll wait. I haven't actually seen if anything will pass or fail. So I'll get back to you when it hits a minute and 20 seconds. Okay, we're coming up on two minutes. And it's going to run. So yeah, the CPU works as far as running all the tests, but the controller section of the, from what I understand, I think whatever is in charge of running the controller logic is not working. So let me take that CPU off. Okay, so I'll take a little bit of flux, put it on the CPU. Okay. Get that chip off. Okay. Okay, so I put in the CPU from the other board inside the test bench. Turn it on. It does post. I got the controller hooked up. And it also doesn't move. So for any of you that have unresponsive controls, it could be the CPU. Now keep in mind there could also be corrosion on the controller port here. Sometimes I've seen it quite often where these ports get corroded and get damaged. It could also be broken traces along the uh, the CPU, uh, you know, the traces that lead to the CPU. They can also go bad and cause the unresponsive controls. But in this case, I can definitely confirm that this CPU is bad because I'm having the exact same symptoms. So yeah, that's unfortunate. We got another bad CPU. Okay, so this next board has lots of corrosion on the cartridge connector and in the same spot on the work ram so yeah i could probably it looks like he tried to reflow this someone else tried to reflow this in the past didn't do a bad job it's just the corrosion is just horrible um on this side of the board it's a little dark any any spot on the silk screen where you could see that dark spot where it's not supposed to be like right in this area here it's all dark um it's worrisome. He's also used top tier capacitors here, I see. What's that? Chang? Yeah, those top tier capacitors. Now he wrote black screen. And let's test it out. This must be one of his uh, original boards that he had laying around. I ain't never lied, it's true. I got a black screen, so I've been at it for a couple of minutes trying to get this thing to post and it just won't post anything so I don't know if the CPU is the culprit I, I want to believe that it's the corrosion and I don't want to sit here and try to clean up all these broken traces try to chase down everything I would also have to take off this header this bracket here and clean under it 
So that's a lot of work and it'll be a lot of bodge wires and then I'd have to replace all these capacitors for, for a little better ones. So that's more work than just taking off the CPU and placing it on another board. So plus I still don't know if the CPU is good or not. So I can do all that work and then I'll still have a bad CPU and then what? So I just want to I just want a chip at this point. I just want this CPU and I can place it on uh, however many boards I have laying around. So let's get this off. Okay, we've seen this countless times before. But this board is in horrible shape. So let me just take the CPU off. I do believe it works. But this way, if if it's a good CPU, I'll put it into the parts box and use it in the future. If it's bad, then I could just throw it away or put it in a broken box. Okay. okay, so I put the uh, CPU from the corroded board in and I'm still getting a black screen. Now I've tried it multiple times. So I've cleaned it, tried to adjust the pins, everything is straight. And um, I just can't simply get it to work. So this CPU is also bad. I put in an old CPU or the, the original one that was in this board and it fires right up. It's just this one that's not not working for me so I think it's bad on to the next one okay, here's the next board this one does post and it seems to run the burning test it says HV timer fail and APU BB fail now this module here is working so uh, I'm not sure why it's giving me an APU fail, but the HV timer usually means the CPU has failed. So I'm going to take this off, put it in my test bench to see if I can get that same HV timer fail to replicate the fault. So I'll be right back. I'm actually going to take it off, off camera just to save some time. Okay, so I got the uh, CPU in socket. Let's see what I get now. It's posting. This one posted much easier than the last board. The last board, it didn't post at all and just gave me a black screen. And I tried and tried. This one, first try, it, it posted. So, yep, it still has the HV timer fail and the APU BB fail. So this CPU, this, it, this, this CPU is having the same symptoms as the other board. So, yep, this one's bad too. So I got another one here. This one's just a plain old CPU. It's one of the older ones. And it just gives me a black screen. I've been flip fiddling with it and I can't get it to post anything. So just this straight up black screen. So, I mean, it's probably a bad CPU, but let's pop it out. Maybe it's a bad work RAM or some other fault. I'll be sure if I pop out the CPU and test it. So this one had a strict black screen. I socketed. Let's see what's up. Still a black screen. Now I can mess with this a little. I'm resetting it. It's giving me like artifacts and you know some noise, but it's not. It's not coming to life. So I'm thinking the CPU is bad. I'm gonna mess with it a little bit. If I don't get anything, then the CPU is just bad. So I got the second to last board here, and. Um, it posts just to a black screen, so I don't have anything. I've been messing with it. I couldn't get it to post anything else. So I'm also guessing that the CPU is bad. The board is in good shape, so it's probably another case of a bad CPU. Okay, so here's the last one. And black screen. So yeah, I know that's anticlimactic, but they're bad CPUs for a reason. They go bad. So yeah, let me take that out, mark it, and put it into the bad chips box. Okay, so I put my original chip inside, and yep, it posts. So yeah, my chip is good. I'm gonna call it a day now. So I got one more board here, but this board actually has only sound, but no video. 
so the video isn't working and not not the, the RF doesn't work the AV doesn't work I tried with SCART that doesn't work so what I'm thinking is if I'm not mistaken the video generates or it starts it it's like it generates from the PPU 2 then it passes on to like the other components so what I could do is swap the PPU 2 and see if that solves the issue if not it could be like a transistor, I guess, or some other passive component. I'm not really sure. Now, I could take the CPU off and put it on a different board. That should probably work. But rather than doing that, I'd rather try to solve this one. So my best guess is swap the PPU too, but that's for another video.